Good morning, everyone. I know uh, most people are at work. Just wanted to share what was on my heart today. Um, I just hear the Lord saying that we need to be encouraged and we need to learn how to wait. We get too anxious and we want to get ahead of God and we want, we, you know, we want the blessing now and we're willing to do all kind of things to try to manipulate God. But God can't be manipulated, beloved. Huh? Oh, God, got to, he's got to purge us. He's got to purify us. He's got to build our character because he can't bless us and our character is not right because then we'll make him look like a fool. So I was reading um, today in Habakkuk chapter 2, and it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch and see what he will say to me, and what will I answer when I'm reproved? And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon the tap tables, that he may run that read it for the vision is yet for an appointed time i want you to get that in your spirit it's for an appointed time it's not your time it's god's time because he's got to make sure not just we're ready but that he's got things that has to be orchestrated for the vision to be able to be manifest so at the end it says it will speak and lie not god has said it to you he's promised it to you so why don't you just wait on it huh wait on God. Learn how to wait on God. David said, I waited patiently upon the Lord and he inclined his ear to me. He heard me. He heard me. He said he brought me up out of a horrible place, established my feet. So God will do what he says, but we have to have faith. We have to believe. We have to do what he's called us to do. He See, Habakkuk first said, I will stand upon my watch. That means I'm not going to get off my assignment. Though God is tarrying, though it's seem like the blessing ain't coming, though it seems like the breakthrough ain't coming, though it seems like things are not happening the way I want them to happen. Huh? They're happening the way God want them to happen. Huh? And what he want his people to do today is he want us to have faith. Huh? He want us to do what he's called us to do. If he's called you to pray, pray. If he's called you to sing, sing. If he's called you to prophesy, prophesy. Do what God has called you to do and wait on him to move. When it's time, it will happen. Nothing can stop it. Huh? But our disobedience. That is key. We must obey God. We must trust God. We must obey God. We must believe God. Oh, and we must submit to God. The Bible says submit ourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. So we must resist the devil but we must submit to God. Resist the thoughts in your mind that come that say doubt comes. Say it's not going to happen. God can't do it. Oh, God can do anything. Anything but fail. There's nothing in possible for him. So as you get ready and you go on through your day, just believe that God is for you. He is for you. And if God be for you, he's more than the world against you. That's a lot, beloved, because the world is big and the world got a big gods, but we have the biggest God. We have the true God, the living God. And if he's for us, nothing can stop us. So be persuaded in your own mind today. I take every thought captive and make it line up to the obedience of Jesus Christ. What did God say? What did God say? That's what we have to be concerned about. What did God say? If God said it, I believe it. I'm going to stand in faith and I'm not going to move until I see that thing manifest. So write your vision down. Make it plain so that those that come behind you can still carry it out because the work is for an appointed time. God got a set time. Oh, it's going to happen. I believe it. Hallelujah. I believe it today. I believe it. I believe Believe God for you. Will you believe for yourself? I pray that you have a blessed day. I pray that you won't get discouraged and that you won't get weary in well-doing. Huh? Because in due season, huh? oh, when it's right, when it's time to manifest, huh? you will reap if you faint not. So be encouraged today, people of God. God loves you. I love you. I'm praying for you. The enemy can't stop you. So believe in God. Believe in God. Be confident in God. Not arrogant, but be confident in the God that's in you because he's for you. I love you with the love of Jesus. Have a blessed day. Amen.